Hello, welcome in this another tutorial of ERP SAP team. Today we are going to discuss how can we fetch the list of advanced purchase order or contract in SAP. So what is a contract between a company and vendor? A contract establishes a long term agreement with the vendor to supply a material or services. Contracts may either be value contracts, quantity, quality contracts or mix both. Value contracts have a ceiling that is a monetary amount that should not be exceeded. For example, we have done contract of the 10 lakh rupees, but amount is not exceeded above the 10 lakh. A quantity contract specifies a ceiling of goods or service that the vendor will provide to us. Okay. So, what is the flow of the contract? Uh, means first we have to create this requisition and uh, first we have to uh, send the request for quotations and then we create the purchase requisition and um, purchase after the purchase requisition and RFQ approval we are going to create the advanced purchase order and after the advanced purchase order we are going to create the purchase order then purchase order and uh, supply of goods okay so how can we fetch the data in SAP uh, we are going to discuss. So we are going to follow the SAP menu path, go in the SAP menu, go in the logistic, go in the material management, go in the purchasing, go in the outline agreement. Okay go in the outline agreement so we are going to outline agreement and go in the contract ok ME31K is for creation of the contract ME32K is change for contract ME33K is a display of the contract ME34K is a maintain supplement ME35K is for the release and uh, for the mass maintenance we have uh, this MEMA SSUNN track okay. and uh, we have uh, uh, a reporting purpose list displays okay if you have a vendor code then you can use ME3L if you have a material code you want to search a contract ME3M if you have a material group ME3C, ME3B, ME3N, MELB, there are various transaction code to search the uh, contract list. Okay. So these are the basic uh, terms where you can search the data in SAP. Okay. And um, by if you know the by accounting assignment, then you can uh, use transaction code ME3K. And uh, if you search by projects, then you can use the ME3J. See, and uh, here you can fill the cost center WBS element. Okay, and um, if you know the WBS element, okay, if you have a maintenance order you can use maintenance order or any internal order assets okay these organizations always use the scope of list alv okay i have chosen the plant p002 because this is our plan code and uh, the delivery date between from 1st january 2019 to 31st january 2019 this we are trying to face the data between this period to this period and I again uh, repeating this tutorial is only for just educational purpose knowledge sharing purpose and training and understanding purpose okay so kindly share with your colleagues and friends okay we have executed this report and see this is our uh, contract list see uh, 
see we have uh, multiple contract list depending upon the call center and you can fetch this record uh, you can fetch this record in excel okay and you can get okay this is the vendor supplying plan short text and all things is available here okay you can modify the contract services period you can modify the contract period date okay and uh, click on the subtotal and uh, remove sort criteria again remove the sort criteria see now this report is in the fine manner okay you can directly uh, directly this is the validity start and validity in period you can directly uh, export this data in excel and uh, just analysis also you can apply filter in sap from this point of view this is the way and uh, you can utilize the report okay amount target quantity all the things will be appear and uh, from this change layout you can include more uh, column in your sap list this is the purchase document number quantity target quantity target value net price and all okay so i hope you understand how can you face the document list of uh, contract or apo in sap so hope you understand okay so thanks for watching this recipe tutorial if you have any query in your mind please mention in the comment section and uh, also reach us at the erp sap team one at the rate gmail.com and uh, it's humble request to all please if you think that this is useful sap tutorial then please press the like button okay it will support and motivate us and uh, also thank you in the comment section how is the sap tutorial and uh, please share with your colleagues and friends who is working in the procurement process who is working in the procurement portion and uh, shares their knowledge knowledge is very important knowledge sharing is very very important thank you happy learning see you in the next tutorial take care bye bye